Welcome to Everett's Corn Rolls and Braining Academy. My name is Sheila Everett Hale and I am Educational Director. Our next technique is going to be a folding technique. I find that many braiders braid this way. Where they take the hair and literally fold it into place. Still using the three strands the braiding always requires three strands. Beginning their braiding and then folding the hair. Watch. See how I take this, fold it into my controllers. Fold, fold, position, fold, position, fold, position, fold, position, fold, position. You see my position is laying the hair right in my pinchers and then I fold that around and grab it with my controller. Fold, position, fold, position with your pinchers and fold, grabbing with your controller, fold, Fold position, fold position, fold position, fold, and then continue all the way down. You want to make sure that your strokes are even, the tension is even on the braid, so that this looks the same as the very beginning. And take it to the end. Let's do that again. I think that was pretty easy. Again, that's called the folding. That's what I call it, a folding technique. Because you literally are just folding the hair. Let's get this started. And then you fold, 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 position and fold, position and fold, position, fold, position and fold, position and fold. Position and, fold. and you just keep going all the way down. My intention is to always teach different techniques because people braid in different styles and um, there's no one way to do it. It's just the way that's most comfortable for you. I can't even say that the technique that you choose may be faster or slower because actually the speed comes with the amount of braiding that you do. You braid, the more you braid, the faster you braid. The whatever's most comfortable for you is what you want to choose. Although I do admi uh, advise you, just as I've done, is to learn as many techniques as you can because depending on the stylist, I mean, depending on the customer, depending on the need, and depending on the style that you're doing, it may require that you uh, start off in a different way on that customer's head. So you want to learn as many different techniques as you can. Okay, uh, the, the folding again, fold, fold, position, fold, position, fold, position, fold, and continue down. Position, fold, Position and folding, position with your pinchers, folding and catching it with your controller. Position and fold. 
and continue all the way to the end. You'll find sometimes that in corn rowing, once we get to corn rowing, you'll find that you may start off braiding in one way at the beginning and then when you get to the back so that you can save your uh, the stress on your back, your backbone, you will change your hand and do it a different way and that's one of the reasons why it's important for you to learn as many techniques as possible. Not only that, when you have to come behind another braider, you want to be able to duplicate what she has done. Now we've done, and the, um, these braids are the palm up, and this one is the folding technique. And they all are just braids.